Chair of the Inuvialuit Regional Corporation is defending the Tuktoyaktuk to Inuvik all-weather road. Critics question the price tag and the logic of building a road that far north when the oil and gas action these days is in the Sautu, hundreds of miles away. But Nellie Cornier says it's an investment in the region's future. Elizabeth McMillan reports. It's not only the offshore development of oil and gas, uh, but also, you know, the whole opening up of the Arctic. Nellie Cornier says the road does more than link two isolated communities. This uh, attention to a access to the coast and a recognition that there's a coastline will bring more stability in the long term. Lately, the region has been starved for jobs. Some residents say they're concerned the highway will pass too closely by Husky Lakes and it'll bring too much traffic to the sensitive area around their traditional camp. But few are speaking publicly about that. 200 people now have jobs with the project and leaders hope that's just the start. The oil and gas, you know, that's what we see in the long term with the offshore happening. I, I really strongly believe Tuckin will survive on tourism alone. The Arctic Ocean is right here, Tuckin, right on the Arctic Ocean. It, it'll sell itself right there. Gruben Cornier and others crusaded for the highway. They lobbied the federal government after becoming frustrated when the territorial government promised a road but never came up with any money. They didn't do anything about it, it was just a lot of talk. Now with the federal government paying two-thirds, the territorial government is kicking in at least $100 million. It'll pick up any cost overruns and pay for maintenance. Cornier says in exchange for agreeing to help pay for the road, Ottawa increased the territory's boring limit. If it wasn't for this project being on the table and, uh, and their appeal to the government that they did not have money to do their share, the debt wall wouldn't have been lifted. She says other regions could learn a thing or two from the Inuvialuit. If people want to get money for their projects, then go ahead and start doing the work like we did. Elizabeth McMillan, CBC News, Inuvik.